All right, I'm gonna do a, um, just a real quick video tutorial on importing PowerPoints into ProPresenter for us. Um, currently, I already have created the running announcements of what we're gonna import in this video. Um, it's created and saved onto the desktop in a folder with Sunday's date. Um, all that side of it is pretty just self-explanatory, but um, to import that into ProPresenter, what we're going to do is File, Import, we're going to come across to PowerPoint, the Browse button here. This is the folder that's on the desktop, running announcements with the date on it. We're going to double click. Uh, we have a couple different options here. It's a default to all slides as JPEG images, that's what we want to leave it on. It's just the best for the scenarios, so that's what we're going to use. Um, we'll do that with this and um, we'll also use that for sermons. Um, so click OK. Uh, we'll give it just a second here. It's kind of a large PowerPoint file. Um, and then it should load onto the screen here. The big difference between this and um, when we had Sunday Plus was if whatever you did on your PowerPoint was like that when it brought it in to Sunday Plus on this. Um, there's a couple differences. It won't automatically move to the next slide. It won't do that. Um, we'll have to do that ourselves. And also if there's a slide that's you've hidden in um, PowerPoint, it won't automatically hide that. So if there is a file you know you didn't, or if there's a slide I should say, you know you didn't want people to see, what you'll do is come back to it, right click, and there's a disable slide feature. You're going to click on that. Um, the only other thing, is obviously I said it won't do it by itself to move forward. So we're going to control A to select all, right click, go to next timer, and we want that to be 10 seconds. Okay. Um, the only last thing you want to do is come down to the bottom for the very last slide, right click, and you want to click loop to first slide. That way it'll be a continuous loop. And that's it for um, running announcements.